I've already spoken about the need to integrate other media content, particularly visual content, into your blog posts, and this stimulates the reader's attention in your writing and enhances her understanding of what you're talking about. So I don't need to go into that issue anymore here. It is important. But what's also really important is embedding the content where possible. You've no doubt seen in online articles put out by the mainstream news media that embedding tweets, for instance, is becoming par for the course. It's really common. A few years ago, I actually made a Vine that showed students how to embed a tweet in a WordPress blog, and I probably didn't even need the full six seconds. But WordPress has now made my Vine completely redundant, because all you need to do is copy the URL of the particular tweet into your blog post, and it's automatically embedded. Of course, not all the media content you use can be embedded, and this might apply to something like a Prezi or an infographic. It's always a good idea to at least take a screenshot of what you've done so that you can put a visual representation into your blog post and then link that post to the original source. You can actually even link the screenshot, the image that you upload, to the source itself. In terms of taking screenshots, even with content you can embed, I think it's always a good idea to screen capture any tweets that you embed just in case they disappear, and you can archive these and come back to them later to insert them if needed. Embedding content like a tweet essentially provides a hyperlink to the original source, so it's not absolutely essential that you include a caption here, although I suppose you could if you wanted to. And the great thing about embedding content and not necessarily having to worry about creating a hyperlink is that you don't have to worry about opening those hyperlinks in new tabs because we know what happens then. I really need to start making these last levels harder. Good.